In this video, we show you how to assemble a capillary mat system. First, be sure that the plumbing from the hydrant to the proportioner and time clock, and then to each bench is complete. Your benches should all be level and securely in place. In order to construct the capillary mat system, you will need capillary mat fabric, 6 mil black plastic panda plastic, drip tape with connectors, and a length of PVC pipe the width of each bench. First, lay the black plastic over the bench surface. Trim the excess so no more than 6 inches overlaps the edge. Next, roll the capillary mat out on top of the black plastic. It should be the same width and length as the benches and not allowed to hang over the edge of the bench. At one end of the bench, set up the drip tape header with connectors so that the tape can run the length of the bench. Connect short lengths of tape together using three-way connectors and elbows, making as tight a connection as possible to prevent leaks. Now connect the tape to run the length of the bench to the open end of the connectors. Run the tape down the length of the bench, keeping it straight and even. The holes should face down. Tie off each hose by folding and making a single knot. Then attach the hoses to a PVC pipe with a zip tie to hold them in place and keep the tape straight. Finally, roll out the panda plastic with the white side up, making sure it completely covers the capillary mat, tubing, and black plastic, but does not hang over the edge more than 6 inches. Holes will be cut into the panda plastic where your strawberry pots will sit. It is important to make sure that the holes cut are the same diameter as the base of the pots that you are going to use. Plants will be positioned on 12 inch centers between the drip tape. Measure and mark on both sides of the bench every 12 inches down the length of the bench to indicate where holes are going to be cut for placement of each pot. Now it's time to cut the holes. We had a handy hole cutter built for us, see website for instructions, to aid in this process. You can also do this by hand or with a stencil. After all of the holes have been cut, make final connections to your water supply and thoroughly saturate the mat. Potted strawberry plants should be well watered and then carefully positioned onto each hole. It is important that you do not move the pots once they've been placed as the roots will grow into the capillary mat to simulate outside growing conditions. We recommend this plastic sandwich approach to capillary mat construction as it prevents algae growth, reduces insect and disease pathogens, and saves water.